In this video, I'm going to share three secret GarageBand for Mac features that you probably didn't know about. In the first, I'll show you how to create your own custom GarageBand project templates. In the second, I'll demo how to use GarageBand's excellent musical typing feature as a quick and easy sampler. And in the third, I'll walk you through how to add music and sound effects to a movie file using GarageBand. To set up my own custom template, first of all I'll need to open a new empty project and set up the tracks that I want to be present in my custom template. I'm going to create an ambient template for when I want to make some more down-tempo music, so I'll set up a couple of MIDI software instrument tracks and load up some of my favourite synth patches from GarageBand's Alpha Waves sound pack. music, so I'll set up with a couple of MIDI software instrument traps. So I'll set up a couple of MIDI software instrument tracks and load up some of my favourite synth patches from GarageBand's Alpha Waves sound pack. Then I'll add a drummer track, again I'll set it up with a more laid back, chilled out drummer and drummer pattern. And lastly, I'll add in a guitar audio track that has a clean amp preset loaded and the ultimate dreamy reverb plugin Valhalla Supermassive loaded up and ready to go on it as a third party plugin. All of that stuff will be saved when I save this template. In fact, any plugins, effects, EQ settings, all that kind of stuff that's added to these tracks will be saved to the DIY template. With all the tracks set up the way I want them to be when starting a new project, I next need to select Save As from the File menu in the toolbar. I'll name this one Ambient Template just to keep things simple. Next, I'll choose to save the file to my desktop, which will make the next step a little bit easier. Now, if I close the project and then quit GarageBand completely, you can see the file is right there on my desktop. What I can do is, is drag this single project template file into my dock and then have access to it whenever I want to start a new ambient type of project. Or if I were to go ahead and create multiple DIY templates for different genres, I could add a new folder called GarageBand Project Templates and drag that folder into my dock instead. I can then add different individual template project files to this file and then have access to as many different templates as I want when I want them. I really wish Apple would allow us to add our own custom templates to the Templates tab in GarageBand itself. But this is the next best thing, and it's a really quick and easy way to get a project started. Musical typing is a quick and convenient way to bash out notes, melodies and drum beats in GarageBand using your Mac's typing keyboard. But did you know that you can assign Apple loops and even your own samples to its keys as well? To access musical typing, you'll first need to have a MIDI software instrument track open, then hit the keyboard shortcut Command and K on your typing keyboard. Alternatively, you can click on Window in the toolbar and then select Show Musical Typing. Next, open the Library pane, either by clicking the Library button in the top left of GarageBand screen, or by selecting Show Library from the View tab in the toolbar. In the Library window, navigate to Legacy, then GarageBand, then Sound Effects. Alternatively, you can use the search bar in the Library window if you want. 
Next, go ahead and pick any of the sound effect options. Note that if you don't see the legacy option available in your library window, click on GarageBand in the toolbar, hover over Sound Library, and then click on Download All Available Sounds. This can be quite a sizable download depending on what you have installed already, so just be patient and wait for it to complete. If you do that and still don't see the legacy category in your library window, I've linked to a GarageBand project file that contains a sound effect patch. You'll find that down below the like button. Download it, open the project, and save the patch. That way you'll have access to it whenever you want. Once you've loaded the sound effect patch, you'll notice these wee icons have appeared on the musical typing keyboard's keys. When you expand this detail menu, you'll see a list of what sound effect loops are attached to each key. <laughs> if you adjust the octave range, you'll see that some keys are marked as empty. From here, you can open GarageBand's loop browser, find the loop you want to assign to a particular musical type and key, and then just drag and drop it in. So, for example, I can add a kick drum sound to this key. And then add a snare drum apple loop to this key. Then I can tap out and even record a beat using those two sounds. Using musical typing in this way also converts audio Apple loops into MIDI when you record them. So even if you just want to record an audio loop as MIDI, this is a quick and easy way to do that. You can even bring in your own samples without having to first add them to GarageBand's Apple Loop library. Simply have the folder with your sample open next to your open GarageBand window, then drag and drop the files onto whichever musical type and key you want. First things first, you're going to need to get your hands on some footage to add music to. If you have your own footage that you've perhaps filmed yourself, great. If not, or if you just want to try how this works out for yourself, you can bring in royalty-free movie clips from websites like Pexels.com and Pixabay.com, or even AI-generated movie clips if you really want to. GarageBand only allows you to bring in one movie clip per project. So if you have multiple clips you want to put together, you'll need to do that in other editing software first, and then bring it into GarageBand to add a soundtrack. A super duper simple way to do this is to use iMovie, another completely free Apple made program that's probably already installed on your Mac actually. Here's a quick crash course. First, open iMovie. If you don't have it installed, download it for free from the Mac App Store. Create a new project by selecting Create New and then selecting Movie from the menu. Click on Import Media in the My Media section. Navigate to where your files are stored on your Mac. Mine are in Mac HD, My Name and Downloads. Select Multiple by holding the Command key on your typing keyboard. Select the files, then click on Import All. 
From here you can drag and drop your clips into iMovie's timeline in whatever order you want. Note that if you have some clips that are a different aspect ratio than you require, click on the crop icon here, then select crop to fill, and move the frame to your desired position. You can go all in on different transitions, text and effects if you want, but I'm going to keep this really simple. Next, click on file in the toolbar, share, then file. Fill out the info as required. Hit next, then choose where the movie will save to. Hit export and you'll get a notification when it's done. Whatever flavour of movie footage you have, getting it into GarageBand is really straightforward. Locate your file, my edited file is on my desktop. Then with the GarageBand window open, simply drag and drop it in. Dragging and dropping the movie file opens GarageBand's movie track and gives you a preview of your imported movie as well. You can get rid of the preview window by clicking the button in the top left, and you can bring it back again by clicking on the thumbnail in the movie tracks header. Once your movie file is imported, you can go ahead and add music to it. I want something quite spacey and ethereal, so I'll go ahead and load up some patches from, surprise surprise, the Alpha Waves sound pack. Then I'll add in a little bit of rhythm. some extra wee bits to finish it off. Here's how it sounds all together. And that actually sounds pretty good. Once you're done, head to File in the toolbar, hover over Movie, and select Export Audio to Movie. In the box that pops up, you'll be able to name your exported movie, choose where it exports to, and change the quality of the exported movie file. Hit Save when done, and once exported, your fully soundtracked movie will be available to play. Let me know if you already knew about any of these secret features down in the comments and if you found this video helpful give that like button a good hard slap on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. But we're not done yet. For even more really amazing and helpful GarageBand for Mac tips, watch this next. <laughs>